Hey guys, you're watching the Angry Fat Guy again. Alright, if you're wondering why you're staring at kitchen utensils, or military kitchen utensils, minus that, uh, it's because I'm going to start a new segment. I'm just going to start doing ration reviews. I kind of like watching them, and I kind of figured it's something I would get into, and I don't care if you like it or not. Alright, first thing I'm going to do is a good old MRE. Now you've seen me do an MRE with Aurora before, but did what we saw at our local GI uh, surplus store. This one is a good old military one. U.S. government property commercial sale unlawful. Which means that this was not supposed to be coming to my hands. So uh, we're going to rip this bad boy open and see what the military gets to eat. Alright, so this one happens to be beef enchilada. Let's see if we can open this. Almost, almost. Uh-huh. That's why we have a knife. I was hoping to preserve the bag. <laughs> oh well. F it. Alright, what do we got going on in here? We have refried beans. That's the only thing that wasn't in the secondary pack. Beef enchilada. White chocolate chip raspberry cookie. A raspberry white chip cookie. Accessory packet. Take a look at that in a sec. Vegetable crackers. I've had one of these in the MREs before. Oh, these things are not that great. What am I doing? You guys need to be able to see all that. Because I'm making you. We got picante sauce. Not sure what a picante is, but. You can make sauces out of them. Cheese spread with jalapeno. I've been wanting to try one of these since I've seen somebody use them. Alright. Beverage base powder, lemon lime. Try that again now that we're rearranged. So, beef and gelato, refried beans. Lemon lime powder, vegetable crackers, cookie, picante sauce, cheese spread, MRA spoon, accessory packet down the bottom there, FRH, Flamer, flameless ration heater if you want to put that FRH in. Huh? Hot beverage bag. I think those things are kind of useless. Alrighty. While we're looking at it, we're going to see what's inside this accessory pack. We have... Da -da -da -da, Non-dairy creamer. Sugar. Moist towelette. Matchbook. Meant for survival in damp environments. Alright, well, you can't read it, so. These matches are designed especially for damp climates, but they will not light when wet. 
or after long exposure, several weeks, to very damp air. We have ground red pepper. Probably not going to use that. Iodized salt. Butt paper. Gum and cafefe, or coffee. First, we get this beef enchilada and this refried uh, beans going. Gotta love the good old flameless ration here. Get that. Do's and don'ts for cold weather. We're gonna throw that refried re beans in there too. All right, we'll take our entree and our beans and fit it all in the bag. Entree is a little bigger than usual. Get in there. Fill it to the line. Try not to overfill. Do not ever fill, but you know, nobody's perfect. What we're going to do is we're going to throw our, re our refried beans on the other side of that. I kind of ripped it down the side here. Ooh, you can smell and hear that bad boy working. So we're going to do this, the vegetable crackers, gotta love that hiss. Alright, that vacuum suck. Ah, there we go. Alright, those weathered. Okay. Alright. See if this cookie sucks too. No, oh, no suck on that one. And the cookie died. Alright. Assuming if we put our cookie together the way it's supposed to go back, no, I don't care, it's not working. Uh, Add half a canteen cup. We'll work on getting better cameras, I promise guys. See? Taster's choice. These are 16 ounces, the same as a canteen cup, so we'll add half the water. Check out that color. Wow, you can smell that cookie from here, man. Yeah, it all stuck. I'm just gonna lick the ba back of my spoon off. That is actually pretty good stuff. Alright. And 
hot water. I really don't like coffee, but I'll try it for you guys. Dude, that stuff just does not want to... Look at that crap. It tastes really good. That, on the other hand, tastes like coffee. some sugar and creamer and see if that helps anything. There's only so much you can do to the coffee to make it taste better. She has like pumpkin spice or something to it. I don't taste good. Tastes like coffee with creamer. Alright. We have this cheese spread. Let's take a shot at these crackers. Now these are vegetable crackers. They look just basically like whole wheat, but I'm assuming they have little pieces of like peppers and stuff like that, like red peppers and stuff. Let's see if we can break them. Well, we can definitely break them, but where did we break them? Alright. Not really a big cracker fan, but... They taste exactly what they're probably supposed to taste like. stuff. However, we'll give this a shot see what this stuff is like. Trusty Kniff. those oils. Yeah, that stuff. Oh. That consistency does not look good. Oh, it smells like baby food. Well, the only thing I can think of to do here Give you all a good load of that. Uh, did I ever mention how much I love our men and women in uniform? People put up with some crap. Alright, well, I can't get it to mix. <laughs> and it really does taste like baby formula. Or smell like baby formula. Ah, down the hatch. Once you get past the smell, it tastes pretty good. I can imagine this was actually pretty uh, looked forward to. It just did not smell good at the beginning. <laughs> Dad was a pretty good cook. He always told me, you eat three ways. You first eat with your eyes, then with your nose, then you finally get to taste it. Well, the eyes were not very impressed. The nose was scared, 
But hey, once you pass through those two, it tastes pretty good. Mm, on to giving this uh, cookie a, a whirl. Mmm. Other than being dry as crap, it's really good. Not sure how this will fix anything, but... Mmm. That is fairly enjoyable. Even with coffee. I want to try some of this. Alright, picante sauce. Waters, tomatoes, tomato paste, distilled onions, dehydrated onions, dehydrated jalapeno. Ooh, like it already. Dehydrated garlic, xanathan gum, citric acid. Oh, we're getting into all the uh, non-food additives. See how this bad boy likes this. It's picante sauce, it looks like. Mmm! Pretty good stuff. Test the matches here just to say we've given the full rundown. We'll give this thing a shot later. Alright, that was not what I intended it to sound as. I'm going to put this in some water, see how it dissolves. Alrighty, I'm hoping we've given this thing enough time. These things never really uh, reach their full potential for me. That ends fine. These are the refried beans. Let's get these bad boys all jacked up. So I'm eating hot beans. They don't look bad. Yeah, this FRH got destroyed. Alright, we got ourselves a beef enchilada here. beef enchilada. Ooh, is it supposed to crunch like that? It's probably corn. Yeah, not impressed. Uh, I mean, it's not terrible. I mean, definitely in the situation you'd be eating this in, I wouldn't turn it down. Let's give this a shot. I know. Ha ha! That was a really good idea. I 
Oh, it looks a little better. At least the cheese looks a little better. <laughs> Less appetizing than what the uh, lunch lady at the lunch line in school would feed you. But, given the situation these guys are in, yeah, I would definitely eat it. See my fat butt turning it down now, do you? Always looking around for a baby every time I eat that stuff. I don't know why, but these refried beans are really good. These are like better than the uh, better than the main entree. left your coffee. Mm. It's that tortilla that's turning me off. There you have it, folks. It's uh, the uh, MRE of uh, beef enchilada. Alright. Good old American toilet paper. Comes in one ply. Guess I'm, I'd be kind of glad they gave that to you. That's the sheets that come in. Yeah, they certainly break up. Huh. Tis toilet paper. And uh, clean myself off. I was dirtier than I thought. And <laughs> there's quite literally no tear notches on this thing. Aha! Just squeeze it out through the seal. Just come. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I certainly did. I hope uh, you join me for when I come back for another. <laughs>